Welcome to your mini coaching session. This is all about what if you never feel good again? At least that's a story I used to tell myself. I'm never going to feel good again. If you are stuck feeling negative emotions nonstop, this one is for you. So hang in here with me. I know I used to believe that happiness or even feeling neutral was never going to occur in my life. Or if it did, it would be quick and it would be over. And so eventually I caught on to something that I was doing that was putting me in this doom loop cycle of I'm never going to feel good. This doom loop so cycle of my negative emotions are happening to me. So what I found was one of the most destructive things I was doing, and now that I coach this, I see almost everyone that I coach when I start out with them doing is this one simple itty bitty thing. We run away from our negative emotions and it's exhausting, right? Not only is running away from your negative emotions exhausting, but it's super duper easy to find destructive behaviors to hide from those negative emotions. I know things I used to do pathologically uh, to run away from my negative emotions was I would seek approval from others. Like, ah, oh, that'll make me happier. You know, especially members of the opposite sex, I was totally looking for approval. I used to even stay out late drinking, which is like crazy to me because I might have like a drink a quarter at this point in time for no other reason of like it doesn't make me feel good. I was avoiding hard and truthful conversations. I was not speaking my truth faster. I was even eating foods that didn't fuel my body and my body was letting me know I was eating those foods. So I want you, since this is your coaching session, to put in the comment section right now what's an autopilot activity you do when you're trying to run away from a negative emotion. Put in the comment section now. So here's the thing. I want to give you a solution because what gets repeated gets rewarded. Meaning if you keep repeating like I was, if I kept repeating when I was repeating behaviors that were helping me hide from the negative emotions, those behaviors led me back to negative emotions. And then I kept experiencing the same outcome of not feeling good for long periods of time to the point that I was like, I'm never ever gonna feel good. I'm never gonna feel happy. I'm never gonna feel neutral. So what I had to do is take responsibility and not have my negative emotions happen to me, but to let my negative emotions happen more by me. And in order to do that, I had to stop looking outside to the external world or external <laughs> vices for that happiness. Or even if it's not happiness, how many of you would just like that neutrality? So what did I have to do? Because this all sounds very Instagram badgy right now. Oh, look on the inside. And I'm not making fun of that. There's a reason it's cliche. But what I know I had to do, and this is what I coach now to people just like you, is I had to start building a stronger relationship with myself on the inside. And the way that I did that was I started to go into the fire of the emotions. I stopped running away from the negative emotions and I started going into the fire of the emotions because the only way out is through. Look, anger and sadness and fear and disgust and happiness and I could just keep listing all these emotions. They're, they're just emotions. They're just emotions. They're just feelings in and on your body. And every emotion we experience in the day, and there's a lot of them, are here to tell us something. But when we run away from them, they're like, hey, listen to me. And we're like, nope, got to go. Got to go eat a Twinkie. Who remembers Twinkies, by the way? So here's what I want you to do. Because it doesn't have to be so scary to go into the negative emotion. But I want you to just start to get like the little prince and the fox, get a little closer every, little, every day. And start asking your negative emotions, what are you trying to tell me? Like that's it, like, oh God, what are you trying to tell me? I, I get that negative emotion in my belly all the time. Actually, put in the comment section, where do you feel your negative emotions the most? I feel them mm, in the belly. That's where I feel them. So instead of running away from it, it being the negative emotion, 
ask, what are you trying to tell me? Now, don't go for the perfect answer. Just go for asking this question. Because both the negative emotions and the happy emotions are, are transient, like both of them. They're designed by nature to move through us, like emotions are meant to go through us fast, in fact. So as you build a better relationship with your emotions and you start understanding what they're telling you, you're going to move through the negative emotions faster. And the ultimate goal is as we move through the negative emotions, that opens us up to feeling the good emotions or the neutrality, which again is something that I sought for years thinking I would never have it. And then when we have the happy emotions, yeah, they're going to move through us too. And we stop clutching onto them so tightly like, oh no, you can't go away. No, they're going to go away. But the faster you can ask the emotions, including the good ones and the bad ones, what are you here to teach? What are you trying to tell me? Then we're going to be able to get to the happiness and the neutrality faster. I didn't believe this at first. And I'm telling you from the other side of the fence, and by no means am I perfect, but I, I am on the other side of that fence where I'm like, oh, I can move through these experiences faster. Because the good and the bad emotions are fleeting if we allow them to be. And the fastest way to get back to those good ones, like I said, is to allow them to come and go as well and even ask them, oh, this feels good. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, that I need to take care of me. Oh, that I need to celebrate. But we got to ask the question. What are you trying to tell me? And this is what it looks like. There's less reactivity, less to me, more by me, more responsiveness, also known as living a life on your terms. I, start having, I started having a deep appreciation for the undesired emotions. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. They're trying to tell me something. And what I ended up having, and I'm promising you, you can experience this too, is increased confidence with a sense of control of what used to feel like it was uncontrollable. So, I've been doing a lot of talking, now it's your turn. In the comments section, answer the question. What is your most recent negative emotion trying to tell you right now? Like, take your best stab at it. You may not be perfect. Our emotions and words, super complicated to put together, but if you could guess the negative emotions you're experiencing right now, what have they been trying to tell you? And just keep asking that question. What are you trying to tell me? And for some of you, maybe it'll be best to talk it out with somebody else or talk it out with source energy. Maybe for some of you, it's going to be better to journal it and just see where the journaling takes you. And as you talk it out and you journal it out or you talk to your creator or source energy, ask, well, okay, what's the next healthy step I can take towards this? I know this sounds a little crazy, but give it a shot. And by the way, I'd love to personally help you stop chasing happiness, like stop chasing it. And I'd like to help you actually build lasting, sustainable sanctuary inside of yourself in inner peace for longer periods of time. So at the time at least that I'm filming this, you can still sign up for the Life on Your Terms group coaching. It's the most transformative experience that I do. It's a community, it's coaching, it's affordable because I want to make sure that everyone has access to having a guide like me or someone like me with you at all times as we navigate this thing called living. So keep this in mind. If you believe you will never feel good again, which I believed at one time myself, if you never feel like you're going to get to happiness, just I want you to recognize that's a story you're telling yourself. Happiness is a journey. It's not a destination. You don't have to do this living alone, just like I had to learn that I didn't. But I thought that asking for help was a sign of weakness. That's BS. That's over. It's never too late to explore the unexplored meaning the inside. And it's never too late to get comfortable exploring the uncomfortable. You got nothing to lose, nothing like you're already running away as it is. You have way more control than you've ever could imagine. And I wouldn't say that if I'm not on that other side of the fence. Stop having your emotions happen to you and start having them happen by you. I'm your mindset and self-leadership coach. My name is Michael Ian Cedar. And with that, I look forward to hosting you in the next mini coaching session or the upcoming Life on Your Terms.
Ichigo Ichi, my friends. Ichigo Ichi.